Hello friends, my name is Mohammad Sohail and today I am going to continue with General Pharmacology Unit 1st from the syllabus B Form 4 semester. In previous lecture we covered some topic that is introduction to pharmacology. In that introduction portion we covered the definition of pharmacology, history behind pharmacology and what are the scope of pharmacology. So it's my request to you if you people have not seen the introduction lecture, kindly go and watch that lecture before watching this for better understanding. In this lecture number 2 we cover 4 topics that is nature and sources of drugs, essential drug concept, route of drug administration and what is agonist and what is antagonist. So friend this video is going to be very interesting and helpful to you. So if you, if you people have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss any update from my youtube channel. So without any further delay. Let's begin with our today's session. First of all, we'll cover the sources of drugs. So there are various sources from which drugs are obtained. So the sources of drugs are first of all natural source, second synthetic source and third is semi-synthetic source. Let's discuss one by one. So first is natural source. In natural sources, there are various types of sources. First is plant source. Second, animal source. Third, mineral source. And fourth is from microorganism. Now, first is plant source. In plant source, there are various types of drugs are comes. First is alkaloid. In alkaloid, cocaine and emetins are there. Then second, glycoside. In glycoside, digoxin and diocin are there. Then third is volatile oil. In volatile oil, clove, cinnamon and texel are there. So these are the plant sources. Then second, animal source. In animal source, the drugs are comes. First is insulin, second heparin, and third is muscone. So these are the drugs which comes under animal sources. Now third, mineral source. In mineral source, the drugs are ferrous sulfate, magnesium sulfate, and lithium carbonate. So these drugs are comes under mineral sources. Then fourth is from microorganism which drugs are obtained so first is penicillin second is streptomycin and third is griseofilvin then second semi synthetic sources hydromorphin and hydrocodons are comes under semi synthetic sources now third synthetic sources so aspirin paracetamol and sulfonamides these are comes under synthetic sources now fourth that is additional drugs produced by genetic engineering first human insulin which is also called as humulin and hepatitis b so these are the sources of drugs now move towards to the next topic that is essential drug concept so what is essential drugs essential drugs are those medicine which are required for majority of the people and population according to who essential drugs one of those drugs that satisfy the health need of majority of the population. WHO brought out model list of essential drugs and revised time to time and the current is the 20th list 2017 which has 43 drugs and 25 fixed dose combination that is FDC. India produced its national essential drug list in 1996 and has revised it in 2011. And now in 2015 with the title National List of Essential Medicine and drug include 376 medicines and 20 fixed dose combination. So the example of essential drugs is iron, morphine, sulfate, methotrexate, naloxone, albendazole, amoxicillin, ciprofloxacin, metronidazole, enoxaprine, sodium, dobutamine, Mifintermine, Pentoprozole. So these are the example of essential drugs. Now comes to the criteria for a drug to be essential. So the criteria for a drug to be essential are it should be effective and economical. It should be safe. It should be in single drug formulation mostly. Then environmental factor one also considered in making the choice. Then needed by majority of population they must be available at all time it should be in proper dosage form 
aim is to optimally use the limited financial resources then list of essential drug that is edl is made locally with the help of who model now coming to the third topic that is route of administration so a route of administration in pharmacology and toxicology is the path by which a drug fluid poison or other substance is taken into the body route of administration are generally classified by the location at which the substance is applied common example in route of administration include oral and intravenous administration now what are the types of route so there are two types of route first is local route and second is systemic route now what are the choice of appropriate route selection so it is depend on both drugs and patient related factor first is physical and chemical property of drug second is emergency that is routine use then third is condition of the patient that is unconscious patient diarrhea and vomiting then fourth is age of patient then fifth is effect of first pass metabolism now what are the classification so route of drug administration are divided into two types local and systemic in local there are three types that is topical which is used for skin and mucous membrane then second deeper tissue there are three types of deeper tissue first intrathecal second intraarticular then third intraretrovular then last class which comes under local root that is intraarterial root then second type systemic root in systemic root there are two types enteral and parenteral in enteral there are various types that is oral root second rectal root third sublingual root fourth intranasal root and fifth is inhalation then second parenteral so in parenteral there are four types intravenous intramuscular subcutaneous and transdermal so these are the classification of route of drug administration now first we'll see local route so the drugs are administration at the site of lesion these are the local route or this route can only be used for localized lesion at accessional site and for drug whose systemic absorption from this site is minimal or absent local route include topical deeper tissue and arterial supply first is topical this refers to external application of drug to the surface of localization it is often more convenient as well as reassuring to the patient example for topical route is skin and mucous membrane mucous membrane means mouth pharynx eyes ear nose git respiratory tract vagina etc then second deeper tissue certain deep areas can be approached by using a syringe and needle but the drug should be in such a form that systemic absorption is slow in deeper tissue there are three types intraarticular injection that is injection into joints then second intrathecal injection that is injection into csf that is cerebrospinal fluid then third is retro bulbar injection that is injection into retro bulbar behind the eyeball then last type which comes under local route that is arterial injection close intra arterial injection is used for contrast media in angiography so these are the routes which comes under topical route now coming to the systemic route systemic route means absorbed into blood distributed all over the body first is oral route in the route the drug administered through orally then second sublingual the tablet or pellet containing the drug is placed under the tongue or crushed into the mouth and is spread over the buccal mucosa that is below cheeks and gums then third route is rectal route certain irritant and unpleasant drugs can be put into rectum as suppositories or retention enema for systemic effect then fourth is cutaneous highly lipid soluble drugs are applied over the skin for slow prolongation absorption transdermal patch is applied in cutaneous 
then fifth is inhalation volatile liquid and gases are given by inhalation for systemic action absorption takes place from the wash surface of alveoli so these are the various types which comes under systemic route of administration now coming to last topic that is agonist and antagonist so what do you mean by agonist a drug or substance that bind to a receptor inside a cell or on its surface and cause the same action as the substance that normally binds to the receptor this is called agonist then second antagonist a substance that stops the action or effect of another substance for example a drug that block the stimulating effect of estrogen on a tumor cell is called as estrogen receptor antagonist so these are agonist and antagonist so friends in this way we cover all the topics which comes under lecture 2 in lecture 3 we will complete the remaining topics which is comes in unit first and then from lecture 4 we will start the unit number 2 till then take care and bye bye